So here we are at the Graydon Gallery at New Farm at, for the Art at Heart exhibition. Jacqueline Hill Solo Exhibition for 2011. So I start at the beginning just so that you can get the feel of walking up into the gallery and seeing it for the first time from the entrance way. So the name of this exhibition is Pacifica and it was inspired by this seahorse painting which I did a little while ago. If you look very closely you might be able to see some reflective gold in there. There's 24 karat gold and a little bit of fairy dust. And then this is the flagship painting for the exhibition. It's called Pacifica. This one also has some 24 karat gold in the little fishies across the top and the clownfish at the left and it also has white gold in the fishies going across the bottom. And here's my little lionfish and the whale. The whale sold really early on before the exhibition actually opened. Here's my little dolphin. And a turtle. Phil and I went to the Monrepo Turtle Rookery this year. Oh, no, last year, a couple of years ago maybe. And we saw the huge green turtle come up on the beach and lay its eggs in the sand at midnight. It was wonderful. And this is a little jellyfish. Each of these paintings is 24 inches square, which is about 62 centimetres. A bit of information on the artist. And at the very back, on the, along the back wall, are the bigger paintings. These are about a metre square. This is turtle number two. I got all excited about colour after doing the first one. There's lots of layers and textures and glazes of colours in there. I'll give you a little close-up. All these mad colours. Heaps of fun. And then along the back wall we've got the birds of a feather collection with all the crazy colours. This is a brand new one that's been in my head for a while. It's called the babysitter. And this is the first one I ever painted in the collection called Our Baby, which has just sold to someone in Western Australia. This is a brand new one as well. It's called Nobody Told Me Motherhood Would Be This Big a Job. And this one's called The Sleepover. One sold. So there's only two left in the whole collection now. So that's all the originals. On this side wall here, all of the originals of these ones have sold previously. So I've got limited edition reproductions on canvas hanging on the wall so people can see the complete collection. The bottom one here is called Lineage. And then we've got triplets and we're out of here there's our baby again and first solo as in first solo flight now if we turn around to the left in the exhibition oh you can see a little study of the first solo I do a little study in pastel before I start painting the large ones. So that's a birds of a feather pastel study. But around on the backboard, if you turn around from the birdies and you look behind you, oh, there's a huge painting called Deep Forest 2 hanging on the wall. 
which is around about on the back right up here, three metres wide by 1.5 metres high in three panels. That's an acrylic on canvas, which has been featured on the front page of Australian Artist. So if we keep going around, we come to the stock room. This is the treasures in the stock room. So I've got some Tasmanian inspired watercolours here, as well as some Eastern watercolour animals. Up here I've got a limited edition reproduction of my baby possum pastel, which sold as soon as it went up on sale at my last exhibition. And here's a Tasmanian inspired watercolour called Portal. Sorry for the reflections on the glass. And around behind us there's some more watercolours framed. That first one is called Daybreak. And I've got a painting from Venice. And this one's called River Gums. And this one's called Eucalypt Promenade. And now we come around to the front room where there's some more watercolours. Here we've got a little wombat. So here's our little wombat in the front room. And if we go across, we can see some cats, some eastern watercolour cats. And here we've got the loose artworks, which are shrink wrapped. And there's a painting of it's called You Ain't the Boss of Me of a little Burmese kitten. That's our little Burmese kitten. And there's some more paintings here in the shop up boxes to look through. Here I've got a little oil which is loose on canvas. And a little practice portrait of Peter Thompson from Talking Heads in oil. A figure study that I did in January from a live model, a fast half a day session. And here we've got some um, limited edition reproductions on paper which have been shrink wrapped. There's some of the birdies there. And here's some tiny treasures in the cabinets little tiny oil paintings or watercolour paintings. I sold quite a few of those already in this exhibition. This is one of the little odd couples series and there's one showing it framed and if you go right around to the left again you can see the first three paintings that you'll see as you walk in the door there's the barking owl in pastel and I've got a meerkat watercolour which is already sold and another little wombat there's a bit of a feature on wombats at this exhibition because we're supporting the RSPCA, raising funds for them. So I've painted a little wombat painting here and I've put it up to raffle. So that we can raise some funds for the RSPCA. So there's the tickets and the money box there. And around here we have the painting of the Corellas that I did in Art in the Park last year in front of an audience. Sort of crazy, crazy colours when you look up close. But from a distance away it looks lovely and impressionist. Full of life and movement. And over here is the oils department. So if I stand back here you can see the whole of the, the department of oil paintings. Some of these I've done in um, January at, at Toowoomba. 
So this was a model that we did a one day life pose. So that was a fast painting. Take a little close up. This painting is called Patience. And here is a couple of figure studies in oil. punching some fun colours into. Not sure how clearly you can see the different colours I've put in there. There's greens and blues and lilacs and all sorts of colours that have been punched into the skin tones. Here's a little farmyard landscape in oil. And a still life in oil. sunflowers and a painting from a photograph taken at Burke, so I've called it Back of Burke. And this little range here that's on the table are my plein air oils. I go up every two weeks to Mount Tambourine with a couple of other artists and we're called the Painting Posse. So we spend two hours up on Tambourine painting with oils out in the dust and the sun and with all the bugs and the passers-by. So this one is called Odds and Ends. It's a little Odds and Ends store at Eagle Heights on Tambourine. This one's called Guanaba Park. And this is called Farmlet. It's at the base of Mount Tambourine. And I did a little fast study of a donkey that I met at Tambourine. The donkey's name is Carmelita. And this is called Through the Trees. I had fun with colours. Fast Alla Prima oils, all of these. This one is Tambourine to Stradi as the Crow Flies. We looked right through the trees and we could see in the far distance the sand hills on Stradbroke Island. And this is called Timber View. We painted on Timberview Drive at Mount Tambourine. And this is the very, very first one that I did, which was uh, my first plein air oil, which I did at Toowoomba. And it's the view from Mount Rascal. So there you go. There's the exhibition, the Pacifica exhibition for 2011. Thanks for watching.